Hello guys, welcome to season 3 of The Witcher. I hope you guys are loving it. I'm loving the game so far. Apparently I'm like halfway through. Um, I told some of my friends where I am, so... <laughs> hope you guys are in for a long journey. Let's see what uh, we... Oh, it's him. Ask a service of The Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. No, nope. can't help you just now. But we alone cannot keep evil at bay. There's a war on. Men's blood soaks the earth. The damned are it, wander in great numbers. Ponder it. The Pella will pay ye. Should ye need him, the Pella in his hut ye'll find. Uh -huh. I don't know, after that shady business, you know, that he was, I mean, it's hard to know who to trust, especially after, like, I mean, granted, I shouldn't have trusted the, the ladies of the wood, but I mean, come on, I was trying to help. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside, what did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Yeah, even if there was a dialogue option, I wouldn't tell him. Trust no one. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Were called birds of paradise in Zerikania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms will please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. All right. You know this guy's been decent. Um. Uh, he did something bad. Um, and at least he just wants to know that his family's alive. Um, I don't know if he's gonna like kill them or something. Like if I tell him, <laughs> I don't. Ah. Okay. Whatever. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! 
I'll haunt should be yours as I see it. Coy, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? Ooh, oh, they'll probably judge me if I say I care more than I don't. I don't know. Eh, well, are they drunk? Does that matter? We'll go. I care more than. I want to see what this. Uh, see what I care happens. Morning. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. Uh, ah. Should I? Okay, I gotta start making more decisions faster. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it. Seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. At least they didn't show the rabbit having sex again. That was weird as hell. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Okay, this horse. This horse better have some damn good stamina. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Yeah, let's go. Want that horse, don't you? One just like it. Oh no! Go faster! There we go. I don't even know where he is. Oh god, I see his uh I see his thing. Okay, so this horse does have pretty good stamina, so she we should win this. This I feel like whenever you do like a horse race or something, like in the campaign, or I did one on the side mission once. Um, it's pretty hard because it seems like their horse has like insane stamina. Yay, I won! That was easier than the last race I did. I raced Kira, by the way. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Griffin? Another chance to win. Shrieker? Oh, cockatrice. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. <laughs> Let's play Gwent. <laughs> Love it. I know where your wife is. Um, another thing. Do I really want? Okay. Got news of your wife. 
Blower, no. Why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. I'm not bringing them back here. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Your beard is. Sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches. Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Huh. You know, I really, now I kind of want to help him. I do want to get revenge on the crones, though. Uh, I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Okay. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now, what did I last... Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Oh, Basilisk. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. I couldn't see the colors. I know bla Basilisk are greenish. Uh, so I just thought it was a cockatrice. If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Yep. Ca uh, uh, basilisk, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Wolves? Really? Well, I'm sorry to leave it, uh, leave it here, guys, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Next time on The Witcher.